Hey folks, BR Tidwell 55 here. Uh, making this video uh, today, April the 8th, it is the last day of support for Windows XP. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you're watching this because you've decided to migrate over to Linux Mint uh, and you're doing it in a dual boot situation as uh, I have previously advised. Uh, this video is going to is a f couple of more steps to make your life make that transition just a little bit easier make it a little bit easier on yourself to access those documents pictures music whatever you might have on that XP partition uh, and so you, that you can access it in, uh, in in your Linux without too many headaches so without further ado the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you can that that XP partition is mounted at boot time and it's really easy to do that in Linux Mint uh, what you will want to do is go ahead and uh, you can't see it on on the screen capture it's at the bottom of my screen but you click on that Linux Mint menu and there's a utility called disks and I'm just gonna go ahead and here in the search bar I'm just gonna type in disks and there it is I'm gonna hit enter and uh, as you can see, uh, you see all of the uh, disk drive or, or, or drive devices you have connected to your system. In my case, my system drive is this 160 gigabit hard disk. And when I click on that, I can see all the partitions on that hard disk, and I see file system partition one, 93 gigabyte NTFS. I know that's my window. I know that's my Windows XP partition. So I'll highlight that, and I'll click on these gears, and I'll go down here to Edit Mount Options. As you can see, by default, automatic mount options is clicked on. Now, what that does is, when you, with that option turned on, when you click in your, uh, when you open up your file browser, and you see that you'll see that partition off to the left side, but it's not mounted. It doesn't mount until you click on it. Well, we want that to mount. We want that to already be mounted once we boot up. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to turn this slider off and we're going to leave checked mounted startup and showing user interface and we're and what that's going to do is that's the, the system will automatically mount that partition uh, when you restart and that way those links that we're going to create here in a second that way those links are going to survive a reboot we'll click OK it's going to ask for your administrator password OK we're done here and it shows you that it's mounted. We'll go ahead and we'll close that. We'll turn that off, and we'll go ahead and we'll exit out of disks. Probably a whole different video on what you can do with that disk uh, with that disk utility. It is extremely powerful. Use with caution. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create what's what are called symbolic links. It's kind of like shortcuts in in the Windows world, but we're going to uh, we're going to create these these symbolic links or shortcuts. Uh, from uh, our my documents folder back to the doc uh, on the XP partition back to our documents folder in our home directory on the Linux partition and we'll do that with a couple of other uh, folders as well so go ahead and open up your home directory and you'll see that 93 gigabyte Windows XP partition off on the left go ahead and select that uh, user profiles on Windows XP live in this documents and settings folder so go ahead and open that and find your user folder in my case it's Brian and I'll see there's my documents so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna click make link and you'll see now link to my documents scoot this over so that you can actually see now you'll see link to my documents uh, highlighted you're going to right click on that and I'm going to move that to documents alright now I'm going to go back over here to documents and you'll see that link to my documents and I'll click on it and there I am back in the my documents folder that lives on the XP partition I want to go ahead and do the do the same thing for my other specialized folders. So start with my music, same thing, make a link, and then move that link to 
music, my pictures, make link, move that link to pictures, and we'll go ahead and we'll merge those. And my videos, make a link, move to videos. So now I'm going to close that up. I'll go back and I'll open up my home folder and I'll go to videos. There's that link to my videos. I open that up and lo and behold, there they are. Uh, pictures, same, same. And that's all there is to it. So the advantage to you could just copy and paste everything over, uh, but that uh, but I would see that as being uh, wasteful of space. Uh, you might still want to do it, uh, you know, for backup purposes, whatever. That's fine. But this will save some. Uh, but this will save uh, some space on your hard drive, and it will keep you from. It'll keep you from having. Uh, different versions of different things littered all over your system keeps everything in the original place so I hope that was helpful this is BR Tidwell 55 and thank you for watching